And when he's in one of those, he'll do anything to draw attention to himself. That spider on his face. You saw that. <coughs> All this stuff about Freddy. And yet it was Bry made me join his amateurs in the first place. He said I needed to get out more, have a break from Joe. But my God, she's no trouble. It's Brian. <laughs> I don't know which is the greatest baby. Do you know, watching someone as limited as Joe for ten years, I've begun to feel that she's only one kind of cripple. We're all damaged, aren't we? In our own way. I mean, there's, just, there's a limit to what we can do. Bry, for instance, he goes so far and he hits the ceiling. He, he can't fly any higher and then he drops to the floor and we get self-pity again. Despair. Do you know, I'm sure, though, if, if he could go further, he could be a marvellous painter. And that's another reason that I, I said I joined the amateurs. The thought that he would be forced to go upstairs several nights a week and actually put paint on canvas. Even if he isn't any good, he, just, he seems to need... Oh, some work he can feel proud of. I mean, just something to take his mind off his jealousy of anyone or anything I take to. Relatives, friends, pets, pot plants. <laughs> and Joe. You know, Joe most of all. Poor love. Oh, please don't assume I feel like this in the ordinary way. I'm, I'm not a... And even when I am, you know, a bit down, I shouldn't usually talk about it to a lot of complete strangers. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's just, it's all this childish temper over Freddy, this showing off, it's just it's more than I can bear. It makes me boil. Honestly, a grown man, jealous of poor Joe. What are you telling them? <laughs> I heard you talking. I heard you mention Joe. <coughs> Sheila's got this theory about Joe's birth. She doesn't blame the doctors. She blames herself. I do not say that. I say it wasn't entirely the doctors. Because she choked it back. Yes, it was partly that. Yes. Because she'd slept around. I think it was partly because I had been promiscuous. Yes, and my subconscious was making me shrink, withdraw from motherhood. All right? That vicar said it was the devil's doing. Why don't you believe that? That's about as Look, brilliant. Look, it comes down in the end to what you believe. I'll tell you what I believe. I know what you believe. Well, they don't. I believe the doctor botched it. <laughs> there was no other cause. That, that specialist said as much. He said it had nothing at all to do with the way you'd lived your life, whether there was a nut in the family, what kind of fags you smoked. You didn't say the doctor did it either. No, you got a good point there. He didn't mention that quite true. He didn't say, yes, he's a shoddy midwife, my colleague. Always has been. I'll see he gets struck off the register. Very true. Weakens my argument, Oh, Beth. you're so clever. He'd only say for certain the chance of it happening again was one in a million. Yes, we haven't yet had an opportunity to check on that, have we? It is due to this that Joe lives at home with us. She's our daughter. She was on the way before the marriage. That feeds the furnace of guilt. There's no need to tell them everything, is there? It was a white wedding. Yes, for my dad's sake. He was a bell ringer. <laughs> you know, he always looked forward to the day he'd leave the peel as I left the church, and you said you didn't mind. I didn't. The reception afterwards, the ringers were the only people worth talking to. All twisted and crippled. Picture them bouncing up and down on the end of their rope. Yeah, 
we might have taken them for an omen. <laughs> I had the baby at home six months later. I had done my exercises, you know. I had read the antenatal books. Uh, uh, well, mostly the ones that make it sound as simple as having a tooth filled. Are you uh, more spiritual? Yes. <laughs> There's lots about you. Sitting by my bedside and holding my hand, looking sincere. Giving the lead with shallow breathing. <laughs> Just, I don't know whether any of you are like me, but I... I half expected to hear snatches of the Hallelujah Chorus. <laughs> I was sympathetic but queasy. Mm. <laughs> the idea of sharing the birth seemed irrefutable qua idea, but not so gay when it came to the blood and fluid. Well, as it happened, you needn't have worried. <laughs> no. How long have your labors lasted, women in the audience? Anyone uh, have a labor longer than six hours? Just, well, that's here. <laughs> Anyone longer than six hours? Just, just shout out the time. <laughs> 16 hours, thank you. <laughs> Quite a lot longer than six hours. <laughs> Anyone longer than 16? <laughs> Anyone beat longer than 16? 20. 20? <laughs> Still holding on there. <laughs> 20 hours? That's, that's almost a day. Anyone, anyone beat 20? My mate was 41. <laughs> <laughs> Who was 41? My friend Ange, 41 hours. Your friend Ange, she had a baby. Yeah. <laughs> and? <laughs> Almost two days, yeah? For Ange, not here tonight, but... For... <laughs> Still, ha still having the baby, what? <laughs> 41 going once. 41 going twice. Any more? 41, 41. 41, okay. 41 hours. Almost two days. Long time. But please compare to my wife, Sheila. 120 hours. Five days. No, it wasn't. I mean, from the first show on the sheets to the last. <laughs> Heave of the forceps. Five days. You'll all be saying he should have done something, but I didn't know at the time. You don't, do you? No, no. Oh, it's all good experience. <laughs> this doctor, he kept drugging me. You were stoned? No. No, no, I couldn't even remember the exercises. Couldn't even tell me, he just kept crying. Just, I couldn't make anyone understand. I couldn't salivate or swallow. So I stayed hungry. Also, I did keep hoping that you'd be there when I opened my eyes and it was always the midwife or your mother. Not always. <laughs> Nearly always. You were getting drunk in the kitchen. Well, what else could I do? My speech faculties, they just seemed to have gone. So I couldn't tell them to stop the dope so I could manage the birth. And the GP would drive around to see us and say, tell the truth, I've got the feeling this young shaver's none too keen to join us. And I'd say, all this trouble trying to get out and he'll spend the rest of his life trying to get back in again. And we'd piss ourselves at that. <laughs> and have another scotch. You never thought it was going on too long? Yes, but you leave it to them, don't you? Well, My mother taught me to believe in doctors and during the labour she set an example of quiet faith. And afterwards, when Joe was ill, she said she'd known all the time it was going on too long. She always knows afterwards. <laughs> the pain was shocking. But the worst is not being able to speak. By the last day, I thought she was going to die. And... I've, ne I've never told you this, like. What? Well, you'll find it hard to... to 